Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we're just gonna chit chat. We're just gonna talk, you know? Um, it's been a bit um, since we chatted, so buckle up. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Like I said, today we're just gonna chat. I've been away from booktube for a while and I just kind of wanted to fill you in on my life since I've been gone from the booktube realm, okay? Um, well, <sighs> I've got some videos scheduled and some videos ready to go, so that's exciting. I really wanna get back into reading vlogs. I really wanna get back into doing those. Um, it's been hard. It's been hard for me to have the content, the interesting content. On top of that, you know, you guys, I've still been making candles and selling candles, all my bookish candles on the side and things like that. So make sure to go check that out. I have my own YouTube channel just for that because I felt like I was bombarding. Instead of doing bookish content on my book channel, I was putting candle content over here. And I was like, that's me being lazy once again, kind of like when I was doing... Um, um, unboxing videos of certain things. So I just wanted to make a separate channel for that. So if you're really interested in my candle journey and how that's been going on, you can go check out that channel. It's just page turning products, um, obviously, um, over there. Or if you're interested in buying candles from your girl, let me know. Um, I'll put the link down below too. Let me know. I love to sell them. I'm getting a lot better. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was doing really crappy about shipping for a little bit there. I was in a dark anxiety induced, depression induced, not taking my medications appropriately induced place. So, you know, I had to get myself, I had to get myself right, get myself back together. And that's okay. I had to do that. Where else have I been? Ooh, I finally had the wedding of my dreams guys this is really exciting i married my man which you guys have met before you guys have seen eric before um i've done a video done a few videos with him i'll tag at least one above i know we did a booktube boyfriend tag or something like that and we've also he's also helped me shop for books before so i will tag that before so you guys have definitely seen him um in my videos and we finally got married um I think he's, no, he's been around longer than I've been on booktube, so yeah, that happened. I got to be a beautiful blushing bride. <laughs> Cause if you know my journey, then you know that we actually got married, got the paperwork, got the whole thing signed last year. But this year, you know, due to COVID, we didn't have like a big gathering. Uh, but this year we got to have our wedding um, that we had planned and that just made me so happy. But of course it made me super stressed. <laughs> And, and depressed and anxious about planning it um, because I planned it all myself, which I don't recommend. Um, yeah, so that happened in October. Um, in May, I finished nursing school. I finished nursing school in May. In June, I passed the NCLEX. In July, I started a new nursing job and left my ambulance job. Um, in the emergency or left my ambulance job and I started a new nursing job in the emergency department because you know emergency obviously is my bread and butter it is my life I love it I do love it um, uh, there's nothing like it I feel like and so I absolutely love it um, I've truly actually been enjoying my new job my new nursing job at my hospital um, I have some of the best charge nurses I have the people I came in with like my cohort of new grads they're all amazing like I genuinely do like them like I genuinely love talking to them and talking about their lives things like that like you know it's it's been great so that has made me happy and so that is good to be in another good work environment um I do miss being on the ambulance sometimes just because be, there's nothing like being on an ambulance especially in the county that I worked in um there's always some mess going on so there's just nothing like it. So sometimes I miss being on the ambulance and right now I'm still part-time so I can go get on that ambulance but they don't pay me as much. So take an overtime shift at the emergency department and get paid a lot more or go work on the ambulance get paid a lot less. Mm. Yeah, I would really have to just do it to work with one to work with like one person or two people like 
just because I like them. Uh, let me think. What else have I been doing? Um, I have been reading, actually. Um, I realized I was reading a lot. I'm pretty sure it's because I was depressed. When I read, like, a lot, a lot, a lot, it's because I'm depressed. Like, a lot. Like, that's it. I have realized that. I have made that correlation. <laughs> um, because I don't want to do anything else. So that is definitely hard for me to um, come to terms with. Because I have so many books, though. So many physical books that I want to read. Um, that I really do need to read. Um, they're kind of staring at me and it's becoming aggressive. Their stares are becoming aggressive and it's making me uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, there's that. I don't know what Eric is cooking, but it smells really good. He's not cooking it for me, I can tell you that. Um, and I guess I'll be eating pizza rolls. It's fine, this is marriage. <laughs> um, let me think. Um, I have been reading, I've been reading a lot, a lot of romance because honestly reading romance is where my mind's been at. I'm not saying it's easier to read romance, but it's easier to read romance versus like fantasy. I really want to dive into the world. I want to understand the world building and truly grasp it so that way I can appreciate what's happening. And I just haven't had the mental mind space to read fantasy for that. So like I'm still behind on some books that I really, really wanted to read this year, but I just knew I couldn't appreciate them where I was at in my life um let's see i do have memberships and patreon um which i need to post more content i've definitely been i definitely mailed out some things for my patreon <laughs> for my patrons because my patrons do get wax melts and wax melt samples from me and um so i make sure to do to give something because you are paying me to give you content um, and to support me, which I appreciate so much. Um, and that helps me remember why I'm doing this a lot of times and why I decide I want to do this. Um, it also helps me do book club and really enjoy my book club space and on the discord and help pick out books to read as a group and as a team. And I really enjoy that because my favorite part about booktube is community and making a community and making a space that I enjoy and that I feel safe in and that I want other people to feel safe in to express their opinions. That is something that is very important to me and I try and make sure that that is available <laughs> or I've been trying to get to a point where that is available for others if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of where I've been at. Um, I definitely come back. I try to stay off book Twitter because y'all still toxic AF on book Twitter. Like y'all don't learn anything. You're always like, uh, how are we coming out as toxic? Well, don't start the drama. Like, listen, you don't have to start the drama. You don't want to start the drama, but you choose to because then you get more likes, you get more followers, you get more subscribers and so you start the drama. Do what you gotta do, boo, to make you happy, but I know you're not happy. You're lying to yourself. Uh, speaking of that, I have um, been in counseling. That's been really great. I recommend it. Um, I don't have like, like I've got mild anxiety. They classify it as mild anxiety and depression, which is fine, um, which is great. Um, but, you know, counseling, medications, you'll do better if you do medications and counseling. They work hand in hand and they work better together to kind of figure out where my anxiety is coming from. Um, because I've never had anxiety um, prior to the last few years. Of course, I do know some of it came from my ambulance job. Not because of the work that I did, but the place that I worked. Um, so yeah. That's where I've been at, guys. Um, I still read all the time. I love to see your bookstagram content. Some of y'all be putting out these fantastic fucking wrecks. And when I say I screenshot... And I am ready to download that book. Um, I'm ready. Kindle Unlimited and I have been getting along just great. Let me know if you guys want some. Want me to do like a Kindle Unlimited rec video. I got all these different recommendation videos in my brain ready to go. I'm going to start working on that because Vlogmas is coming up. And I want to have some Vlogmas content this year. So yeah. That is my plan, guys. That is my absolute plan. I've missed you guys. I've missed being here. Um, but I just knew where I was at in my brain. I couldn't be here and be happy about it. I would feel very forced and I'm not gonna say I was burnt out from booktubes. That's not true. I wasn't burnt out from booktube. I was burnt out in life. <laughs> um, 
And so if I was making content, I would feel very forced to put on a happy face for you guys when I wasn't feeling happy. And I like to be genuinely happy when I make these videos versus sad and trying to be happy. Because I love books and I love to read. That makes me happy. But sometimes creating the content does not make me happy, which I think a lot of people relate to, which is why people come in and out of booktube so often. Um, you know, but there are people who are consistent and will do consistent projects and consistent things like that. And maybe it makes them happy or maybe they've just figured out that it gives them a purpose. I don't know the answer. I don't have the answers to that. That's for them to talk about. I don't know. But <coughs> whatever is cooking is starting to get very smoky. <coughs> but that's all I got, guys. 2021 has been an exciting year. New job, new profession, new marriage. Because I've been telling everybody I'm a freaking newlywed. I'm a newlywed. I'm like, look at this newlywed go. Look at this newlywed go. We still got our honeymoon to go on. Mm, 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 mm. So, yeah. But guys, hopefully I'll be doing more Wind Down Wednesdays. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Um, that is just, it's not that I didn't want to. Um, it, but that does just take energy to do. And then you're hoping people show up. And people like don't want to show up. And then it's fine. And you're sitting there drinking by yourself. And you're like, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm, like, I'm totally an alcoholic. We got these like awesome brewmate things and like you know once again like brewmate if you want to sponsor me during a wind down wednesday like let's do it let's do it because i have my awesome wine holder to hold a whole bottle of wine so i can sit here and drink and talk about books with you guys but anyway anyway that is it guys because i'm gonna start rambling about nothing about absolutely nothing that's been going on at all so i'm going to leave I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit that bell notification button. Make sure to follow me on all of the social medias. And until next time, keep turning the pages.